All right, here is the, uh, the last pattern of our uh, harmonic minor primer lesson. Um, once again, this is not a, a, a cage system deal. This is just one of my favorite uh, uh, voicings for this. Um, we're starting on the same root, seventh fret, <coughs> uh, fifth string. We're going uh, seven, nine, ten, and then the next string, seven, nine, ten. So the same idea on the fifth and fourth strings. And then we've got where uh, we're dealing with, uh, basically it's a half step, whole step, half step, um, which is going to be 8, 9, 11, and 12. Now this actually exists down here. Any place where you've got the root, you're going to have that little phrase right there. We just cut it out of the beginning just for the sake of making this a little bit easier. Uh, so. Um, if we go back to the beginning, fifth string, seven, nine, ten, fourth string, seven, nine, ten. All right, then we're going eight, nine, eleven, and twelve on the third string. On the second string, we're going ten, twelve, and thirteen. Then we've got our little half step, whole step, half step bit. Eleven, twelve, fourteen, and fifteen on the first string. And that brings us to our, our licks. Um, <laughs> back to Yngwie Lang. What's kind of funny is that our next lesson is probably going to be showing you how to use a harmonic minor scale over a B.B. King song uh, and, and still sound tasteful. But uh, this stuff, this is some of my favorite licks. I'll end up using this stuff even if I'm, I'm playing uh, like a minor blues uh, with a jazz feel or something like that. So even though a lot of these were originally stolen from uh, Mr. Yngwie Malmsteen, <laughs> uh, it still works for other styles of music too, depending on how you use it. Okay, so we're starting on the first string, the high root on the uh, E uh, uh, 12th fret, first string. We're going to go 12, 14, 15, and then we're going to drop down to the 11th, and then 14, 12, and 11. Before moving on to the second string. 13, 12, 10, and then 12, 11, 9. So it's a one octave lick. Um, actually, a little bit, little bit over one octave. Ah. Uh, but you have it there. And then we're going to take the same idea an octave lower, the place we just ended. We can do the same thing here, uh, starting on the root. Uh, we got 9, 11, 12, 8, 11, 9, 8. That's all on the third string. And then we're just going down uh, uh, 10, 9, and 7 on the fourth string. 10, 9, 7 on the fifth string. You just get used to the idea that those are two octaves of the same uh, same scale. So if you have a phrase, you know you can kind of uh, continue the phrase down through the other octave. All right, we have one more lick here. Uh, it's different than the other ones. Um, it's going to sound like this. Right, so we're starting E minor, um, just to kind of get the sound of the E minor scale, but then I play this big B major uh, triad, or arpeggio right here, uh, which really defines the note that's different, which is this D sharp, or the raised seventh. It makes us really want to resolve to the root. So we're going back from our favorite root right here. Uh, we have uh, seven and 10 on the, uh, on the fifth string. Nine on the fourth string. Uh, eight. We're going to slide up to eleven on the third string. So we can play the twelfth fret on the second string with our middle finger. First finger on the eleventh first string. Uh, pinky on the fourteenth fret on the first string. And then we're going to end on the root right there to resolve the whole thing. So there you go. Um, 
nothing too exciting. It's just uh, a couple fingerings of the harmonic minor scale. Uh, we've learned how to construct it or what makes it different from your natural minor scale. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how we use it uh, uh, in composition uh, over the course of these lessons. Um, I've got at least one live video of me using this scale in a pop song um, without sounding like Yngwie or Bach. <laughs> and um, uh, we're going to go through all the different scale fingerings for it, like the cage system. Um, we've, we've got a bunch of stuff we're going we're gonna to do with this, and it, it might not lead you to where you think you're going with this scale, given its, uh, given its reputation. <laughs> 